Good morning, all you beautiful future millionaires. <laughs> I don't know if I'll keep that. It is quarter after eight. I'm almost at work. I have a big day today. It's week number three at the office, and so I'm I've decided that this week is the week that I'm going to give them my entire strategy for the marketing. So from short term to medium to long term, all the steps in between, what's it going to look like? It's cool because since I'm the only person working in marketing, it's kind of all up to me and I'm working with the CEO and COO to make sure it all works together. But really, I've got the main voice as far as what we're doing for marketing. So it's, it's really cool. Pretty crazy opportunity given I just started my marketing major. If you want to follow us, go to Softdesk or Solargraph. Those are our products. Before I get into the work day, I just want to talk about something that I think is something that could be improved as far as Concordia and JMSB. I see, and I'm sure everybody else is the same, you see this like rivalry between JMSB and the rest of Concordia. It seems like they don't like us and we don't like them. I think this is a problem. It's something that we really have to solve. This is something that I think, looking to when we all enter the workforce, it is not okay that anybody who studies business and anybody who studies something academic or liberal arts is in a separate mindset. I think that if we're going to be a productive society and really make things happen, we have to be able to agree with each other and work with each other and understand each other's point of views because I think that this petty rivalry is just kind of, it's just that. It's petty, it's immature, it's not productive. And I think that we should take a look at whether we really understand each other's perspectives. There's a lot of people doing great things in each of the schools. so. Just, just think about it. If anything, it's a really big target market for your next business. I'm legit the first person in the office. People sit all the way back there. Here, office tour. Kitchen, games room with the foosball table and a PS4. Sales, accounting, customer care, CEO, COO, all the dev and me. Another kitchen space over there. This whole like soccer turf thing going on here. That's where we have our team meetings. I love getting to the office first. You can be so productive when it's empty. Like nobody's around, no distractions. Except for the vlog. But, you know, we're friends. This is Emily. We just had a good productive business lunch. <laughs> Emily's like the OG of sales at Softdesk. Also check this out. There's a lens for your phone in the bathroom. Really good day at the office. I left work early today because I've got to get to class. I've got case class. And in between that time, I have to do a bit of work. Hopefully I have time for a bit of coffee on the way. But before I get to class, I just want to talk about something I've been thinking about recently. And that's finding work. As you and really anybody knows, um, in life, no matter who you are or what you do, there's always going to be a degree of uncertainty. This can be like not knowing what to do, not knowing what path is right, not knowing you know, what job to take, whatever. And it really never goes away, as far as I can tell. You're always kind of faced with it, but you have to find your own ways to deal. And what I've been thinking about recently is that, you know, you're never able to get rid of it. So what you have to do is you kind of have to pick the direction that you want to go, the, the main goal you want to achieve, your big, hairy, audacious goal, and strive for that forever. Like, make sure that every decision that you make is in pursuit of fulfilling that goal. When it comes to evaluating opportunities that present themselves in your life, you just have to evaluate them based on the framework of does it get me closer to my goal? Anyway, what I'm trying to say is that all, in order to achieve these big goals and to kind of get your direction in life, you have to understand what, what big goal you want to achieve and then just start evaluating your, your opportunities based on that. And you realize that most opportunities will help you get there. And it gets pretty easy to rule out the ones that won't. Because I'm sure that everybody in their life has thought, wow, I would love to be the person that solved that problem. Start making decisions that are getting you there, that get you closer to being that person. And over time, you'll be the last one trying for it, or you'll be the, the one with the most experience trying for it. And everybody else will come to you for advice on how to do that. So you just have to be more motivated than anybody else to be the number one person in that thing. Every time you an opportunity presents itself or you think about doing something, evaluate, does it get you there? If the answer is yes, do it. And then eventually, it'll start to happen. You'll start to become that person. 
I believe that anybody can accomplish what they set out to accomplish, no matter where you come from or what you have to do to get there, as long as you just start doing stuff. You can improve on things that you've already done much better than if you had never done them at all. Anyway, if you have thoughts on this, let me know in the comments or tag somebody who needs to hear it. And I gotta get to class. municipal governments spend billions and billions of dollars of, on waste management and on top of that recycling costs a quarter as much as garbage disposal does. Interesting, eh? Ten thirty, I'm heading home. It's been a great day. I'm gonna do some homework and go to bed. Back to work tomorrow morning. I'm gonna be starting an interview series with some of my friends soon, just like a casual thing, but I'm gonna do live videos and just like basically do an interview with a bit of a Q&A and stuff, just to kind of showcase what my friends are up to. So if you'd be interested to see that, like my page, I'll probably just do them randomly. <laughs> Thanks for watching, have a good night.